Well, this time of year is when many fruits, including strawberries, are perfectly sweet and in season. So today, Vicki Kerr of Miss Vicki's Potato Chips and author of Miss Vicki's Kitchen Recipe Book is here to show us how to prepare no-cook strawberry freezer jam, and it already smells like a strawberry <laughs> oh, field in so here. Delicious. This is so amazing. Now, Miss Vicki, of course, we know you from the potato chips. I feel like, you know, we all know you. <laughs> um, and now you have this cookbook. Uh -huh. That's right. It's a collection of my family recipes. So um, it's from my family. I'm originally from, I was born in Montreal. And then um, my farm family, where I um, had all my children, and we grew potatoes to start making potato chips. But one of the first things I learned as a farm wife from my mother-in-law was how to make this jam. It's easy. Um, you don't have to cook it. So she would uh, go out into the strawberry fields, and I would go and help because you have to get down on your hands and knees to pick them. Now we can just buy them in the grocery store. And this time of year, they're really um, fresh and not expensive. So yeah, well, I can I can smell how fresh they are. I mean, there really is like an aroma about these fresh. So this is the freshest time of year to get strawberries. Is that right? Yes, that's right. April, um, end of March to the middle of May. Okay. In Arizona, we get them from California. Perfect. Yeah. And I know you said we can buy them, you know, in the grocery store. But can is there places where we can just go pick our own strawberries? Or? You know, I looked uh, to see if I could get some. I was hoping in Yuma, but um, they're not open for berries. They have other vegetables and fruit, organic, pick, pick your own. Those are great places to go. Um, some of the farmer's markets might have farmer's them. Farmer's market, yeah. that's a great idea. But I grew strawberries here in Arizona, and it's uh, really a battle between us and the rabbits. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't either. Okay, they grow. I'm, I'm pretty excited to try this. So you're going to show okay. us how to make it. It's really easy. First of all, you get about a pound of berries because what we're looking for is the recipe with two cups of crushed berries. And so if you'd like to crush yeah. them, go ahead. Oh. Um, on my website, uh, MissVicky'sKitchen.com, I have the complete recipe. After you crush them, then you just um, add some sugar. We'll be using four cups of sugar and then mix it until the sugar is dissolved. Sometimes it takes overnight and this batch that I'm working on here, I started making it last night before I went to bed. Oh, okay. And so I wanted all the sugar to be dissolved. And then I had a package of um, pectin. I used Serto, um, some lemon juice, and that is going to be what, gel, what makes it gel. Yummy. Yeah. Now I feel like could you also add other kinds of fruit in there to make it like a mixture? Well, you could add a banana that makes it really smooth. We're going to try um, some of my strawberry jam with bananas. Oh. So. And when you did the lemon juice, Miss Vicky, you did real lemon juice, yeah, right? I did. Right I out cut, of a lemon. I cut a small lemon um, in half, and two halves of a small lemon makes a tablespoon, and that's what we're going to be needing for this recipe. So now we're ready to put it in jars. See, it didn't take long. Oh, oh wow. And how many <laughs> of these little mason jars will this fill, do you think? Uh, well, hopefully six. Let's see. Sometimes it varies depending on the climate, the kitchen that you're working in. So we just easily fill them like this. And of course, you're supposed to have a wet cloth to, <laughs> to wipe <laughs> the side of the jar. I love the consistency. <laughs> it's going to get thicker. Oh, okay. It's going to get thicker. So as it sits so. in the jar, it kind of thickens. Yeah. And Miss Vicky, we were talking on break about what perfect timing this is because what a great idea for a Mother's Day gift. It is. It really is. And um, all the recipes are really simple. They're easy to make. And like this one, just put the, the lid on it, let it sit on the counter for 24 hours, and then check it to make sure that it's gelled and freeze it. So, and then freeze it, and then once it's frozen, and then what would be really cute is if we, you know, maybe put a little bit of ribbon around it, put a cute little Mother's Day. Absolutely. Note. Done. And I make them this size and even smaller than this for Christmas gifts. Oh, yeah. So I make it this time of year and then I freeze them all. And then that way, um, I mean, everyone loves to get homemade jam. Absolutely. A little bit later on in the year, it'll be raspberry season. And so then you can make raspberry jam exactly the same way. But now, I love that. the cookbook that we have on display here on the counter is actually my own Miss Vicky's uh. cookbook that I, I'm using on our set today because I love the, the recipes and the pictures that go along with all of them. It's, it's very easy. Like you said, they're very easy recipes that we don't have to be this 
you know, extraordinary chef of, you know, something, I can follow along with these and they're just amazing. Well, that's really rewarding for me to hear because that's the intention that I had when I wrote it so that it would be easy to understand, simple, easy to follow. And um, on my website, I'm making some of the recipes from in here so you can see it. Um, if people want to go on my Facebook, um, it's Vicki Kerr or Twitter or Instagram. Real Miss Vicki is the handle <laughs> that they use. And they can follow along because I'll be posting different recipes um, that I make for, like I posted a res recipes for my granddaughter's first birthday party. Oh. It was an owl theme, so we had all the... It is, and Heather's over here already breaking. Well, I have a little <laughs> jar right in front of me here, and I think, Tina, are you willing to taste this yes, with me? Yes, and we're doing it on top of scones over here, right? Yes, mm. I, the scone recipe's in my book as well, and those are cranberry um, scones that are made with a little bit of walnut and some orange peel zest. All right, I can't you wait to try break. this. Oh, you want to hand it? I'm going to just hand it to you, and we're going to eat these scones on break because Perfect. <laughs> I'm good we're not go. letting a scone go to waste. Miss Vicki, thank you so much thank for joining us. It's my That's pleasure. Morning. Thank you very much. And you can get an autographed copy of the cookbook along with a personal message from Miss Vicki herself by logging on to MissVicki'sKitchen.com.